RMM and MDM sort of live in different silos. The MDM sorts of things that you can do are uh, specifically with regards to deploying configuration profiles and uh, setting things like the, uh, uh, yeah. So um, these kinds of things under commands, you can only do through the MDM. Uh, so things like locking and restarting the device, locking and wiping the device remotely, doing things like tracking it as an asset, locking it down for activation, for things like that. Those are things that you can do through MDM. And we're, you know, we're sort of expanding. Right now, what we've got is sort of a baseline, the, uh, the MDM features, but that's expanding into more automatic enrollment and uh, sort of zero touch deployment of things, deploying applications and packages and things through the MDM. It's sort of on top of what RMM can do uh, through automations and monitoring such. So the, the two sort of live in, in uh, parallel spaces. And uh, yeah, so if you are doing the MDM, those functions through the enable Apple device management, then you get both of those in the same dashboard. Uh, if you're using something like uh, Intune or, or like Jamf or whatever, um, as an MDM, the MDM part of it is managed by that other management solution. So here is the, the Apple page on device management. Um, and it goes through and tells you what sorts of things you can actually do with the MDM as a service. So things like managing licenses for apps. And uh, it's also used for schools, so books as well. So uh, eBooks and that kind of thing. Enrolling and checking in of users and hardware, and then uh, configuration through prof profiles and stuff like that. That is what MDM does. Uh, RMM is the monitoring and management of things. So, you know, we can see things like whether or not the system is is on and performing and tracking assets and what it's all, you know, uh, what it's actually doing. You can't do that with MDM, and you can't do a lot of these these kinds of payloads with RMM. Uh, by itself.